everyone. I just wanted to give you guys a quick review on this new item. I'll say that for starters. On this new item that I purchased a few weeks ago. And I have certain things that I just really want to say before I go any further with speaking about this item. So, if you guys are wondering what the item is, it is a protective styling unit from fingercomer.com and the item that I purchased came in this bag and it's called Salonvelope and basically the unit comes nicely wrapped uh, inside of that envelope it's like a plastic <laughs> like a plastic envelope and the item that I purchased is called the faux Remy Femi curl uh, unit and it's basically designed like a half cap wig and the hair is installed like in layers so it it kind of resembles my hair maybe not this particular style of curl because this is a twist out a two strand twist out but it looks a lot like my wash and go hair so I purchased this because I really wanted to try to give my hair a break every now and then especially when I know that the temperatures are about to start dipping down even lower than what they are today and I just want to be able to still have my look like still have the look of my hair being out although only maybe a quarter of it is out in the front just to conceal the beginning of the wig. So, what came in the envelope or what came in the salon envelope, I should say? Well, this bad boy. So I just would like to say that I did take this out of the pack already a few days ago. I tried it on two days ago and I wore it around the house for maybe about two or three hours. Um, so the, this is the unit. It came with a little like care card in the middle, but I misplaced it. Yeah, super genius there for that. Um, I looked all over for it. I cannot find it. I think I actually accidentally tossed it, which sucks. But I do remember that that little care card basically explained what kind of unit it was that I purchased. So again, this is the Faux Remy Femi Curl Unit. They have another one which is very similar, but this one is the Faux Remy Femi Curl. <laughs> what a tongue twister. Okay, um, basically on the care card, it explains to you that you can use the following items that also came in the salon envelope. And there's a comb here. I think this is like a wig cap, which I didn't notice until now. Hmm. Yeah. An Afrogenics Curl Keeper. It's a conditioning shampoo. And basically, I can use this to cleanse my unit or to refresh it if it's starting to look dull or gets really tangled. Um, I did read in the curl, I'm sorry, in the care card that this unit, it shouldn't be combed. I think that would ruin the pattern. So it's best to just kind of finger detangle and just use your fingers like how you would your own hair. Um, so this is the unit. I got it in the color 1B. And as you all know from my previous video, I've been trying to darken my hair more and more with henna. My, my hair now, the color is not really a 1B. And I know this because up against this hair, you can tell the difference. <laughs> but it's not that bad. Like you can't, you can't tell that I'm wearing a wig necessarily. If anything, it just looks like the front of my hair is just slightly lighter than the rest. Not that bad, it's okay. And if anybody notices, who cares? Anyway, so in here, see it says salon envelope. I'll just bring it closer. And there's combs. I'm sorry if the lighting doesn't really show this as well. So there's a comb in the front as well as the back. And then they have these hooks in here. You probably can't see that either, but I'll just come closer. 
it had these hooks in here and you can basically adjust it to make it tighter and bring it in on both sides it's totally up to you if you want to use the combs some people don't like combs in their head um so when i wore this i would say first off i used both combs i probably won't do that again i think i'm just going to use one or the other and then just use like bobby pins maybe like on the sides because i did notice there was like a little gapping here on the side um and i just fixed that with placing a bobby pin just to kind of hold it down to my scalp i would also say that it's best to maybe you know corn braid or corn roll your hair or maybe do a flat two strand twist on your hair to make it lay down as flat as possible underneath the wig so i did mine in four so i had a corn roll going here the back the back and on the side and i left out maybe this much hair going across in the front and i just used like a curling custard to do a maybe three yeah i did three two strand flat twists and i rolled the ends with perm rods the gray color i don't have them here to show you but i'll be back and i'll just show you then exactly which ones i used and then uh silly me i just slapped the wig on my head yeah that's what i did that's a big no-no don't do that and i'll explain why so for starters, like I noted before, in this salon envelope, it comes with a wig cap. As you can see, I did not wear it, and that was where it all went wrong. So number one, you need to protect your hair underneath the unit. I'll say that again. You need to protect your natural hair, the hair that's growing out of your head. You need to protect it when it's under your unit. Why? Because when you remove your unit, you would like your hair still. You would like for your hair to be moisturized and protected. And you don't need for anything to get in the way of that, especially if the whole point in you wearing a, a, style, a protective styling unit is to protect your hair. So you definitely want to cover your head either with the wig cap or maybe with a satin bonnet or maybe with a satin scarf, a, like the small one that would fit underneath without causing any lumps or bumps. What else? So wearing my unit for maybe two or three hours, I started to notice itching. Uh, the type of itching that you would feel when you wear your hair in uh, extension braids or extension twists now. For myself, my skin, my scalp is super sensitive. I cannot use that extension hair without treating it first. And when I say treating it, I need to soak that hair in what is called the apple cider vinegar soak. So you use apple cider vinegar, mix with water, swish it around, you let it sit for maybe an hour you'll notice you'll see white film on top of the water you rinse the hair out you dump the water you sit it again now in clean clear water only and then you let that sit for a while you dump that out i then will wash that hair with conditioner very gently because i don't want to ruin the hair but i do that to any hair that i use to create the braids or the twist or whatever Whatever it is, I don't let that hair touch my skin until it's treated. In this case, I did not do that with the wig, and I feel like I started to have somewhat of a reaction from it. Yeah, I was a little heartbroken. But it's not the end of the world, because I feel like I can just use this, use this unit and clean it with a apple cider vinegar and water rinse. Now, I tried to do some research on this. I could not find anyone else that made a video on this. So I figured I'll do it. That's the only way that I'll know. And this might help someone else in the future that goes through the same issue that I went through yesterday. So I just wanted to actually be able to capture the piece on film before I did this wash or this rinse on it, just in case it doesn't bounce back to the way it was. Um, I'm just gonna cross my fingers. I'm hoping for the 
best because I really do like this unit. I really do. I actually took a picture, a selfie. Yeah. <laughs> I posted a selfie on Instagram and Facebook and I got a lot of compliments on the hair. Like, oh my god, it's so cute. I love it. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, really? So it doesn't look wiggy. So you guys think it's mine? Oh, this is gonna be awesome. So I really want to be able to use this again and actually leave my house with it on, but I need to treat it first. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go now and um, fill up a, con a big container with the water with apple cider vinegar, soak this unit in there for maybe an hour. I, I really don't want to do it for more than that. And then I'll rinse it out. I'll use the conditioner that they gave to clean it and then I'll let it air dry and then I'll come back and let you guys know what I think and also show you what it looks like after. I will insert the photo that I took and posted prior to cleaning it. I'm gonna post that in the video so you can basically see the before and after. Uh, overall, I do recommend this unit to anyone, any female that loves naturally curly, fluffy hair and that wants to protect their hair. So I think this, it's great. It doesn't have too much shine. It looks very believable. I hope that my lighting can really capture the beauty of this unit. But there's layers and I wore mine like half up in a bun and the rest out and I loved it. So I'll be back with my final, final review and results on this piece. And I hope you all have enjoyed.